Hello everybody and welcome back to more Peglin. We are jumping in again, carrying on a Crucible 1. Unfortunately, we couldn't quite get that last boss on the last run, but we'll jump in again and try once more and see what we can get going on. Uh, question marks have a 70% chance to be treasure chest nerds and treasure chests have a 77% chance to be rare. Or we've got aim display and additional bounce. That's pretty good. And um, plus bonus to our regular hits on a reload. I think I'm going to go with this. This seems like a good idea. We could just go like all question marks and try and get a bunch of extra treasure. I've never really tried that before, but we've already got a few good paths right here. Um, either way we go. So that's good. This is always a bit of a hard start here on this um, this era, area. Mainly because what's going to happen here, we're going to kill them all. And it's it's that's good, but we would have been better off trying to get some more money. Um, doubles the amount of spinfection on the target. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Um, upgrades each peg hit plus three. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I'll try that out. I'll try that out. Okay, so we don't really care which way we go here, do we? I mean, we'd rather go right, I think. But I don't think we're going to have too much of a choice here, unfortunately. Yeah, we're going to hopefully see what happens here, but... Okay, no, we managed it, we managed it. Okay, we're just going to go all question mark and hope for the best. <laughs> hopefully it'll work out for us. Obviously, you can see here we'll get some fights on occasion. Ooh, we got a crit there as well. This is a good first hit. A really good first hit. This is a difficult stage as well because it only has one bomb, which makes things a little awkward. We did manage to detonate the bomb though. Ignite it. Um, I'm sure to go for the bomb here. I know that that peg was a bit of a waste there, but why not? And then we'll go for a refresh here, and that should hopefully... Oh, I was really hoping that would hit the crit, but it didn't. That guy's got a single health left. Let's just try and go for some gold then, shall we? Hey, we managed to get a good amount of extra gold there. Lovely stuff. <laughs> 87 damage to an enemy with 1 HP. Might be a little bit overkill in my books, but uh, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Right. With this crit here, we should be okay to kill this guy very, very quickly. And we get another crit here as well, actually. This guy is very much Dunyan Rings. Right. Good, good. Okay. Um, Let's see what this does on upgrade. Plus five is pretty nice. We don't have any shops coming up, do we? Let me just take a little look-see. Yeah, we're good on shops for now, so I'm good to just upgrade this, I think. Um, let's go for it. Yes. Cool, okay. Um, we'll go question mark again here. We're just hoping for treasure, and then the chance for that treasure to then be rare would be lovely. Um, shake the tree gives us the egg, right? Yeah, okay. Egg is kind of interesting. Egg is one of those ones that's a bit unique. Um, we can get something later on if we hold on to the egg, but it's not a guarantee. We did get a tre uh, chest here. I'll definitely take the eye for extra reward choices. That's going to be pretty good for getting those rare things. Uh, check behind the waterfall. When gaining max health, increase the amount gained by plus one. That could be pretty good with some specific stuff. But so far, so good on the question mark front. It's going all right. It's going all right. Um, force a pebble in. We want to get rid of a pebble there. Um, and then this doesn't really matter. Although I'd like to get down to the shop, so let's try and go left. Good, good. Every fourth shot starts with plus one multi ball. That's that sounds really good. I like that. Um, and then. Hmm, I'd rather go right here so that I've got the chance to get over to these question marks. And I'll go shop and then question mark, I think. Um, heal six when reloading seems decent. We go shop here, then we can remove an orb at the shop to get rid of another pebble. Good stuff. Our deck's getting pretty thin at the minute, which is slightly problematic. Um... We could try and go and go for the elite. In fact, I think we should just to try and get ourselves an additional item. I'm not particularly enthused by our deck strength, I'll be honest, but we'll give it a go. Whoa! I have never seen this elite in my life. This is new. Oh, this is cool. Unfortunately, this is actually a really rough stage, to be honest. 
Like, we're not... I, I, I think we're actually going to lose quite a lot of health here. Because getting to these refreshes and stuff seems, like, kind of awful. I'm trying to go for the bomb there. Oh, no, I, did, I, did, I got one of the refreshes. Good. Yeah, this... We're going to take some damage here. This is not going to be good. Hey, we got our multi-ball there. That's nice. But realistically, we just want to go for the bombs. Yeah, they because that clears out all the little fellas. Okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. Oh, dude. Yeah, the, the, the angle that it bounces off at the start is, is weird. It's also kind of hard to get money on this stage as well. Ooh, that's a rainbow guy. Pierce through. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. We got a multi-ball there for another bomb. That's good stuff. Oh, didn't quite hit that bomb. There you go, though. That wasn't actually as hard as I thought it was going to be. Although, seemingly, I have to still kill these guys, which is unexpected. But not too... Oh, wait. Okay. I think I'm getting the deal with this guy. I think if I can manage to kill him, which isn't all that likely, then I get a bonus. I don't know what that bonus will be, but I've never seen him before. Get the bomb, get the bomb, get the bomb. Yo, you went everywhere but the bomb. Oh, okay, he's gone. He's out of here. Um, <clears throat> Splat orb. I can I can get down with the splat orb. Um, and the, the popping corn is pretty darn good. Enemy spin faction will increase each turn instead of decreasing. That's pretty good, but we don't have any spin faction right now. Um, I'm going to go with the popping corn because that's just really good healing. Potentially. Yeah. I'm hoping we can get a few more orbs at the end of these bits of combat here. To just fill out our deck a little bit. Because our deck is a little light right now. We want to be hitting those bombs as much as possible. If the game will allow it. And then of course, as always, we're looking for piercing. If we can get piercing, that'd be really nice. Having multi-ball with that is really, really nice. Getting plus five in a bunch. The only problem is obviously, as you can see there, it doesn't do any damage. Okay, that was that was pretty good. Ah, damn it. Don't use the egg. Gotta save the egg. I don't think we can upgrade the egg or anything. The egg's just kind of there. Bad hit. There you go, we got him the And that popping corn healing is very, very nice. Um Bramble, pretty good. I'm going to go with this as well. I'm just going for the full-on experience with this. Go with plus seven on that. Got it. Okay, and then we got the slime boss. Slime boss can be pretty difficult. Look at this area again. Yeah, the double damage slimes here. I'm not quite sure how well they work. I'm not sure what, what they do. Does it give you plus two rather than plus one? Or does it double the amount that you currently have? Well, we'll never know, because I completely missed the... That was a whiff and a half. Okay. Yet again, the refreshes here are in really bad spots. There you go, that refresh was good. Plus seven on a bunch of these, that's nice. I'm not exactly sure how the doubles work. Maybe that's how it's working? Applies double damage slime to every nine. Pegs are hit... <coughs> uh, pegs are hit when an orb makes contact with them. In most cases, orbs activate peg when hit. What? What? I just want to know what the double damage does. That confused me. Hit the bomb. I mean, you hit the bomb, but not quite. I don't know, I'm going to play into this double damage thing and see, see if it ends up working out for me. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. You can see that the popping corn is really helping us out staying uh, healthy. I did 17. Oopsie. Oh, it definitely does, yeah. I just I just witnessed it happen there. 
Um, that's pretty good. Attacks all enemies as well. Although I'm 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 really liking these these slime based ones to be honest. Although should I go for like some upgrades on these? Hmm. That is level two, which is nice. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Right, slime boss. We shouldn't have a hard time with this guy, considering we've got the popping corn healing factor going on. So let's see what we can do with this. Really nice to get the double straight away there. That was good. Can we get a crit straight away here, though? No. Okay, that echo does nothing, because it's echoing nothing. <coughs> Apologies about my slight cough. One second. I just have to clear my throat. Sorry for that pause. If that you missed some of the action, it was very, very brief. I promise. Ooh, that's nice. Although I didn't actually double damage many pegs there, so not ideal. It's good damage though. It's good damage. Yeah, that's gonna be. Dude, why does the Echo keep coming after the one that deals no damage? It's just rude. That hitting all enemies, though, is, is kind of wild. Ah, oh, dude, this gap in the middle is ruining me. Yeah, this gap is really ruining me. Okay, he's dead. He's basically dead. We are good. We are good. Very nice. We got our research as well. Nothing slime related. I kind of want like to just go all slime. Let's do some upgrading then, I guess. Um. Cool. Okay. Let's see what we want to go for here, shall we? So we got the refresh one again. That's kind of interesting. Um. Attacks all have minus four, but activated pegs get upgraded. Ooh, that's pretty saucy. I'm going to try that out. That seems like potentially really bad, but I'm, I'm willing to bet that can get pretty wild pretty fast. Especially considering we're applying slimes, we don't really care that much. It's kind of a weird one. We basically we've got a bit of a, like a setup phase now. Like early on, things aren't going to really do much. But then later on, they'll start getting real good. If we can get durable on more pegs, that'd help. Really, you've both got one HP. Ooh, that's plus twenty six on that. Is pretty saucy. Yeah, you can see what I mean by it. It's, it gets pretty wild pretty fast. I'd like to get more slime to, to add durable to him. I'm not getting slime, though. Uh, the first uh, peg hit... Ooh, what's, what's the upgrades for this? I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. I know that the upgrades might not be ideal, but... Question mark, of course, of course. Got to go for the question marks. Off a pebble. There you go. We get rid of another pebble there. And our other one becomes a level 2, which is decent. Um, I mean to damage while reloading. Yeah, that's that's just too useful. And we can't afford a shop right now, so let's go this way instead. Got an elite this way as well. That's good. Well, that was bad. The first one it hit was a crit, so it didn't add the plus 10. Wasn't expecting that, really. Yeah, this is going to be very weak sauce for a good little bit here. Really, you didn't hit that crit? God damn it. I mean, does hitting crits actually do anything for us anymore? I don't think it does, really, does it? That was nice, though. That was very nice. 
gonna take some damage here. This this arrangement, this stage arrangement is just horrible anyways. I always have a bad time on this one. I like that being able to target any enemy as well though. That's that's really nice. Oh, really? The shield it up like all of that. This having echoes is really, really nice for us. And our health is staying reasonably high as well here. I like that. Still no goddamn slime, but yet another one of those. Okay, let's see how this works. Plus 20. Okay, I'm, I'm going to upgrade this first, though. Elite it is time. Let us go. There's some re really difficult elites in this stage, so we'll see what we end up getting. I don't recognize this one. But the fact that he has a mirror makes me think he reflects my damage. Yeah, okay, he does. That could be pretty bad for us, we'll see. So far this is going pretty poorly. I really need to hit a refresh. And of course the game isn't going to let me hit one. He's getting way too close now. Dude. These refreshes. This guy's basically burned. I did take an insane amount of damage from him though. I'm not going to die to this, am I? Okay, no, the bomb killed him. Good. That was close. Closer than I'd like. Okay. Um, let's upgrade that bad boy. Let's upgrade this one. Hello, hello. All attacks have Echo 10. Really good. Target attacks also hit nearby enemies. That's really good, too. Um, every time you create... Okay, I think we're going to go with all attacks have Echo. That's going to help out a lot. Or at least I hope it is. More question marks, of course, of course. Duplicate all orbs. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's a bit risky, but I think that's good. We need some duplication coming in pretty fast here. Well, this this has been pretty good. Didn't get a lot of damage there, but got a lot of pegs upgraded. I'm not particularly happy with my HP right now. My HP right now kind of sucks. In fact, sucks so much that I might die. I don't really know how you meant to heal from that at all. Yeah, we might die here. I may I may have misplayed this. I thought the stage would be really, really easy, and it's proving to not be, and I think I'm dead. Okay, no, I didn't die somehow. Um I will definitely heal, thank you. And I guess I'll upgrade one of them. Question mark, thank you. The special relic that heals us. I I lost a run to it last time, but I don't give a damn I'm taking it again. Especially now I've got popcorn this time. That should do us better. Prevent the first lethal damage you take. Projectiles attacks have overflow. Overflow is so damn good. Hey, um, this is the right guy, right? Wait, I thought this was the guy I gave the egg to. What? I thought that was the guy I gave the egg to. Oh, I do not have the egg anymore. Did I use the egg? I thought the egg got duplicated. 
I, I used one of the eggs, but I thought I had two. Okay, well, that's my bad, I guess. It did not work the way I thought it would. That overflow damage is very nice. Okay, this is our, our one that's like not very good. That didn't overflow at all either. Ah, oh, come on, don't fall through the gaps, please. This attack will do as well. <laughs> yep. That attack will do as very well. Cool, grab one of them to full. Right, boss time. I don't know how confident I am with this, especially with my low, low max HP. Right, now that's useless to us. Okay, that's some damage at least. Ah, uh, we might die here. This this might have not been the best move by me. I thought I'd heal more than this. I think I'm already dead pretty much. Also, stop bouncing to the left. Oh my god. I want to get underneath and into the layers. And it's just not happening. Also, yeah, I guess I finally hit a refresh. Let's just stop firing over this way. You can see we're doing good damage now. Stop going over to the left. Oh my god. I didn't even mean to fire that. I didn't even mean to fire that. I meant to... to yeah, sometimes. Oh, man. Your boy's about to die. Oh, that missed somehow. I, I genuinely don't know what happened there. I like the way the refreshes are always in literally the worst possible locations. Right. How do you always bounce to the left? I tried to angle it to bounce the way I want it to, and it still doesn't. Anyways, we, we that, that worked. Okay. Pegs have durable is insane for us right now. That's so good. I mean, that's the one I was looking for. I didn't even have to read what the rest of them were. That one's so damn good for us right now. Because not only is it increased healing, but it's increased ability to add plus whatever to each peg. It's gonna be good. Also, more chance to apply slime too. We're getting pegs up to plus 20 already. That's wild. Dude, we get so much research points. The good thing is it literally doesn't matter like what orb we fire, really. This blind that's applying to enemies is helping quite a lot. Boom. Get them upgraded, why not? There you go, finally. Right, again, we're going question mark Mageddon. Upgrade knob. Thank you.
Oh man. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Look at that. We got a thousand damage with that first hit. Yeah, baby. Elite or question mark? I'm gonna gamble on an elite. Why not? I'm gonna gamble on an elite. I do not know what this guy does. Oh, uh, wait, what? Ah, so each each phase more and more gets revealed to us. I think each peg we hit more, more and more gets revealed to us. This is not good. I do not like this. We are going to die. Yeah, we are, we are dead. This is evil. I, I, I genuinely don't know how you're ever meant to survive this. This isn't enough pegs for me to live. This is this has been a really, 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 really crappy way to die. That elite is okay. That missed at least. This elite's I, I kind of BS. <laughs> I'm dead. It missed again. It missed again. Oh my god. And I did like 17 damage. It missed again. Oh my goodness. Dude, deal more damage, please. Okay, I don't know how we lived through that. That's actually insane that we lived through that. Um, applies poison slime to every seven hit. Uh, targets take 10 damage for each active poison slime on the board after enemies move. That seems interesting. I will take it. Hmm, probably go with this. Damage every every two pegs activated. Well, that was risky as all hell. I probably should have gone for healing, actually. Random shop. Sadly, can't buy anything from it. Don't you dare go over towards this fight. I really, really needed that treasure, because I'm not ready for a fight right now. a lot of guys. I don't like the idea of this. Luckily we are dealing 900 damage to all of them, so not a problem. Cool. All the question marks. Ooh. Use your satchel to scoop up the forge. Take the smithing hammer. Take the smithing hammer. Whenever you discard an upgraded orb, upgradable orb, upgrade it till the end of combat. Okay. That's fine. It's a bit late to get that. That's That can be really good in a run if you get it early. Because I'm pretty sure if you take the, um, the, the first option, the top one, every time you buy an orb, it upgrades it automatically, but you take damage, I think. Or you lose max HP, something like, along, along those lines. I'm not going to gamble an elite this time, because that other one almost killed me. That other one was evil. Whoa. The wall of the corridor appears to be tearing, revealing worlds that look very similar to your own. The tear grows large, revealing countless monsters. Near the corridor, you see the forest boss. Enter the tear. Whoa, what are you? You're not a forest boss that I know. Intriguing. Oop, he's got like... He's got his mitts on things. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. As soon as we touch that, our ball just stops. Unless we hit the pegs, I think. If we hit the pegs, it deletes it. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Applies lightning slime. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Don't mind if I do. Got all the slime types. That's pretty interesting. Um, that's really good. We'll take that. Okay, this, this has gone pretty well so far. I'm still a bit worried about the boss. 
Each shot, a random slot portal. Uh, each shot, a random slot becomes a portal that can teleport up to the top of the pegboard up to three times. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Um, I guess just remove one of those. We have a very stacked deck right now. Hundred and six damage to all enemies was pretty good there. It's annoying that this all can't deal any damage because it does stack the board, but it's kind of pointless. Hey, it fell down the middle and went again. Oh damn, you got hit pretty hard there. And you are dead. This has been pretty good. Right, straight on down. And we are very near to the boss now. I don't remember how this boss plays out, to be honest, so we'll see. Oh god damn, they are bouncy. We need our Echo as well. Our Echo would be really good here. That was good. The overflow damage is working for us there. This is the lightning. Lightning zaps nearby when hit. Got double orbs here as well. I'd like to get one of these refreshes. I always forget that when you've got durable pegs, refreshes are an absolute pain to hit. These guys nuke us if they hit us, so we've got to be careful about them hitting us. Yeah, these refreshes are nearly impossible to hit right now. Got some plus 41s. Got a plus 62 over there. I'm trying my best to get to that refresh, but it's just... It's not happening. There should be enough overflow to kill everything anyways, right? Indeed it was. Get that upgraded. I'm going to heal just in case before we start the boss fight. Right, we'll see how this goes. If this guy does big hits, we're probably in for a hard time. So this guy's Minesweeper, I see. This guy is just Minesweeper. He's got a lot of enemies, so the overflow damage is going to be necessary to help us out here. So far, so good. That wasn't ideal. Damn, we really want to be hitting this if we can. Obviously, it's not always going to be plausible. Dude, is it just attracted to this hole? What the hell was that about? Why? Why'd you have to bounce that way? Straight back down the same hole again and again. And we got a refresh there as well. Okay, he is taking some hefty damage right now. Dude, I, I swear there's something going on where it's just attracted to the nearest hole. Oh, dude, over a thousand damage. Yeah, this guy's dead. Well, this was a fun one. I hope you guys did enjoy. I think we built up something pretty interesting for this run. There you go. He is dead, dead, dead. And that is Crucible 1 done. Crucible 2 unlocked. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was a really fun run. We got some interesting stuff together there. And I'll see you guys in the next one.